Hello, my name is John and this is the Sausage Kev podcast and we are back to give some more BTCC news for the Friday Roundup. Hoping to do one of these every week and hoping to bring you a little bit of news. Um, So let's get straight into it. Where are we? Right, so with 84 days, 16 hours, 31 minutes and 19 seconds, um, we can tell you that Stephen Jelly remains with WSR for 2023. This news actually came out a couple of days ago, so most people probably know it. Um, it's nothing new, but I think it's quite good to get uh, all the pieces in the puzzle so that you can see on our silly season uh, roundup, we can fill in another piece. So WSR, obviously it's telling you a bit of history about Stephen and about all these uh, GT car racing, etc. But the part I found most interesting was that he felt that he had more in him last season. He was just getting to kind of the competitive edge of the car. Um, and he really enjoyed working with both Jake Hill and Colin Turkington. So good luck to Stephen Jelly next season. Um, and I think that's our first or second full BTCC team that we've got uh, on the grid. Um, filled in like confirmed. So the next thing I want to talk about briefly is the launch of the British Touring Car 2023 fan survey so following the successful execution of the 2021 btcc fan survey supporters of the uk biggest motorsport series the quick fit british touring car championship are being asked to be part of a 2023 survey so the survey can be assessed below accessed below rather and will also be promoted via the btcc's official media channels as well as a number of stakeholders sponsors teams and drivers media platforms with supporters able to have their say on subjects such as the race weekend experience your television broadcasts uh, media platforms sponsorship road cars environmental and sustainability Um, i wasn't rolling my eyes there by the way leisure and lifestyle and many many more aspects it's quite a big survey but the prize is um, that you could win a pair of touring car tickets to your favourite event. So you get to choose one of the 10 events um, and they're giving away 20 of them. So 20 pairs, it's quite a lot of tickets to give out. You should see some kind of uh, image like this if it's on one of your social media platforms, you know, Instagram, uh, Twitter and Facebook, etc. You will see something like this. You click on it, it takes you into the survey um, and then you just bash through it. I'm not going to do it now because I've actually saved mine halfway through because it was that long. But that is the survey, so if you fancy it, get on over to it. Right, so may as well show you the lineup. I've put a question mark next to uh, Tuck and Tim, but this is West Surrey Racing's team. Um, Jake Hill, Adam Morgan, I think Colin Tuckington, um, unless he. <laughs> He might have been confirmed somewhere and I've missed it. Um, but Jelly's been confirmed. So looking good. It's one more team we can tick off. Also, I missed out that Team Hard, I did leave Aaron Taylor Smith out of the initial one. But after doing a bit of reading backwards, um, my COVID brain kicked in and it, he actually signed a multi um, a multi year deal back in 2021, um, which we believe took him to 2023. So we'll wait and see if he's announced officially. But he might not be considering he had that in place already. Another bit of driver news-ish, Mr. Michael Kreese, who obviously we're a massive fan of his, um, and he's an even bigger fan of ours. Um, he posted up on his socials this week, showing a, uh, a picture of his helmet, um, with great move in the right direction today, with a set of funny eyes emoji and hashtag 2023, then hashtag BTCC. And then hashtag Creasy777. So where is he going? Who is he speaking to? You've seen on our previous videos, um, there's plenty of teams out there, plenty of seats, plenty of people moving around, more than I think most BTCC fans thought. Um, uh, there's a few rumours kicking about under there, and I'll probably do a video on that afterwards. But what do you think? Where do you think Creasy will go? Is he going to be at the sharp end of the grid? Has he moved up a little bit? Let's hope so. Um, but anyway, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. It really would help us. We're quite new on YouTube. Um, give a like on this video or a comment because that also gives us a massive boost really to let other people see content that like the same things as us. Um, and until next time, folks, I think that is about it. So thanks again and see you soon.